Welcome to the task, Edit a List View. In order to accomplish this task, I'll start Internet Explorer and navigate to the SharePoint list for which I would like to edit the view. Once the SharePoint list is displayed for me, I'll open up the View menu and select the Modify This View option, which will open up the Edit View page. In the Columns section, I can add any columns that are in the list that are not in the current view by clicking the checkbox in the display column. Similarly, I can remove any columns that are in the current view by deselecting the checkbox column. Please note that some of these columns in the column name heading are not specific columns in and of themselves. They are merely different ways to present the same column. For instance, there's an event name column here, which is merely the event name. There's another event name column that contains a link to the item. And still another event name column that contains a link to the item and it also contains the edit menu. So just be careful to make sure you you don't have the same column appearing multiple times in the same view. In the position from left column, we can change the ordering of our columns moving from left to right. Since this is a list for upcoming trade shows, let's go ahead and move the date of the event all the way over to the left. And you'll see when I select 1 for the date of event uh, column, the other columns will be adjusted accordingly. Let's move on down to the sort section. It's normally a good idea to select the column by which you want to sort the items and typically you'll use columns that you've placed in the leftmost position. For instance, it might make sense since this is an events uh, a list of upcoming trade shows for our, for our business unit, it might make sense to sort those by the date of the event. In the filter section, you can choose to filter out any particular list items and not have them show up in the current view. For instance, for this particular list, we may wish to filter out any trade shows that have occurred in the past. In order to do that, we'll elect to show items only when the following is true, when the date of the event is greater than or equal to today. In the group by section, you can group items by their values within a column. In the total section, you can determine if you want to display the totals of any of the column's content. In the style section, you can select a predetermined style for the list. In the folders section, you can choose if you would like to display items inside folders. In the item limit section, you can determine what, if any, limits you want to impose on the number of items displayed in this particular view. And in the mobile section, you can select the options to make the list more readily viewable on a mobile device's browser. For the purposes of this view edit, we're going to leave all the defaults the way they are now for all those extra sections and go ahead and click the OK button to have our edit show up for the current view. And you see now our date of event column is all the way to the left and all of our events have now been sorted in ascending manner on the date of event column. This concludes the task, edit a list view.